Hello everyone, it's Takuya here, and welcome back to a Hearts of Iron 4 video. We are back in the original world of Hearts of Iron 4, it's time to do something that I have not yet done in this game. Actually defend Chinese interests. Honestly, at this point, I feel like this video should be going up on TikTok and not YouTube because of that. I have a whole love-hate relationship with that app. Yes, China, the great giant punching bag of the previous century. There are a number of different factions within China that would qualify as China, but there is the main one, which is the nationalists. And then the other major power is the communist forces. Under a very suave looking Mao Zedong. Cornered fox, more like sexy fox. I mean, look at that face. Kept lean and mean by years of not eating. That tends to happen with communism. And China has a history with that. But yes, China historically for the last hundred years has pretty much been the punching bag of both Western powers and more recently the Japanese, which in every single game that we play in here so far, you see exactly what happens with them. In fact, we've, we've kind of been on the giving end of a lot of that pain and suffering here. And the video that I just put up about the Mongols going and burning everything to the ground well, yeah, you get the idea of what I'm pushing here. And it has every reason to be a giant punching bag. I mean, after all, it has unequal treaties, a very corrupt army with minus 30% to division attack and defense. Holy crap. A horrible bureaucracy, incompetent officers who don't know what the hell they're doing, and inflation is also going to be a problem. A recipe for a successful state. But what I'm going to go ahead and show you here today is that despite its misgivings, China has the potential to be one of, if not the most powerful country in the entire game. Yes, it's an awful start, but hey, the grind is part of the fun. Hey, just interrupting to let you know that if you like the video right now, you're going to get a thousand social credit. You won't know it, but it'll be there. So keep that in mind. China is watching. Yes, China 1936 with a massive military and not enough guns to equip it. Semi-decent military base considering everything that they could otherwise be facing, but still not enough to stop the hordes. For that, Chiang Kai-shek, you are going to need a lot of luck and probably a hair transplant. First things first, research-wise, we only have two research slots. We are behind one on guns, which is not good, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that fixed. And then simultaneously, we are going to need to focus on industry. There are two primary things that we need in this game. Lots of guns and the ability to produce said guns which is important. And because we know that Japan is going to be attacking us early, instead of our usual bit of building civilian factories, no, we need to build military factories right from the get-go. Everything in our highest infrastructure provinces so that we can build it as quick as possible for from the beginning should be okay. As for our military factories, again, we are going to need lots of guns and we will start building up a little bit of a surplus of artillery. Not too much, but this should be good to start. And we're going to need the steel to actually support said industry. As for our troops, we're going to get all of these. We're going to put them into the same block because we don't really need to do any things with these just yet. We have three types of divisions. Infantry with four dudes, infantry with six dudes, and cavalry with four dudes. That's it. There, there, there is nothing else that goes into these. So not only are the divisions horrible and weak, but then they have horrible effects applied to them at the same time, which will suck. So we are going to do whatever it is that we can. As for our focus tree, we have a pretty long focus tree, actually. It's not a huge one necessarily, but there is a lot of 70-day focuses in here that will take up a significant amount of time. And it is all about balancing things between managing our politics, and by that I mean trying to not let our government die, trying to fix our corrupt military, trying to get our industry underway as well, and the biggest and most important thing, getting help from foreign powers and ultimately uniting China if you survive. Now we don't have time for a lot of these focuses, so first things first, we're going to go ahead and invite foreign investors just to get two more civilian factories. The more that we can produce, the faster we can produce it, the better. All right, after this, there's not going to be any point in doing anything else down here because what we need to prioritize now is our industry. Let's go ahead and get this going. All right, there's basic machine tools. There's the Type 24. We got that done. Next up on here, concentrated industry. We need to prioritize that as soon as possible. And support equipment, because we are also going to need to be able to produce a whole bunch of this as soon as possible. All right, there's unified industrial planning. And at this point, it is May of 1936. We have done two 70-day focuses because the Marco Polo Bridge incident is something that is going to occur in the summer of 1937. That means that we are going to have time for around five, maybe six more of these focuses to get done. We have to get down here to United Front, which that is four right there. So we're going to do military affairs commission so we can start building up a little bit of army experience. And then we're going to make a beeline down the political path here. Also switch over our guns to better guns because we want to be able to start producing that as much as possible as soon as possible. There is a strategy that you can use where you don't switch over to the newest gun because that way you stay producing a higher amount from the very beginning so you can field out more units. But I want to get the higher quality guns faster. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, here we go. We are starting to build up a surplus of guns and a decent amount of artillery too. Excellent. And then we are going to produce a whole bunch of these. I'd say probably 20 additional divisions. Now, at the same time, what we're going to do is use our next 100% research on concentrated industry too, because we're going to need to build this up here as significantly fast as possible. All right, there's 
Forest Construction 1. Now we have to go over here to Infantry, and it is very, very important that we get Support Weapons 1. We need this because we need that extra defense, as much defense as we can possibly get. And then as soon as we get to 200 political power, boom. Chief of Army, Li Zongren, the Army Defense Genius. You are going to need this as soon as possible, specifically because he not only is going to give 0.4 daily army experience, which that is crucial, you need to get as much army experience as you can possibly get, but also the additional defense, you need to get whatever you can. So this, plus as soon as we have the political power again, Zhao Yi Su for an additional 15% defense, because boy, are we going to be hurting. And then as soon as this last military factory completes, we're going to need to do a couple things here with land forts. One across the entire top line, and then make sure to put four in Beijing, because this is going to be the center point that is going to be the hardest to defend. Our next step on here is army reform, because we're going to need to get this prepared for as soon as Japan invades, because this will unlock a decision that will allow us to start to fix our military that uses all of our army experience. And in the meantime, using up the support equipment that we managed to build up a little bit of a supply of, we've constructed another unit called Wall, a slightly upgraded thing that we're going to use to try and hold the front line as much as possible. Because at this point, we're only going to have around 70 days left, it's time to start preparing our very fun defenses and let the Japanese break on them now, shall we? So first things first, we're going to take a stack of 24 from among our best. And by our best, I mean the things that have six guys, not four. We're going to assign the general with the best possible defense, which in this case is this guy, Sun Ji Lin, or Sun Li Jin and slap him under a marshal that also specializes in defensive doctrine for additional entrenchment. You, my friends, are going to be the wall that are going to save us. And for that, we're going to need to start switching out a couple of your units, three at this point, I believe I can do, with walls. Because each one of these that converts is going to use 30 support equipment. So every 30 days or so, I'll be able to convert another one of you into a wall that I will then be able to use to bash against the heads of my enemies. Fun times. And you, my friends, will be guarding the north here while trying to survive. And we're going to place the these in a defensive line to make sure that every single port that is on here is going to be protected. I don't care about defending the coastline. I only care about defending the ports because if you can defend the ports, they can't land any troops that will have supply. They'll land troops, sure, but those troops will then have no supply that will run out and die significantly more easily. So you have to defend the ports because boy, oh boy, here come the Japanese. Now, the final thing that we do before the Japanese come is that we're going to create a small detachment here, something that has a couple units in like four, five, six, something along those lines. And we're going to keep these guys separate. Something that I'm sure that as the Japanese launch their ever so fun naval invasions as they're bound to do over here first, we will have some troops ready to respond to attack those points as they land. At the same time, because we have some additional equipment here, let's go ahead and train up some more of those divisions. 10 additional ones should be fine because here come the Japanese. Oh, there's a Marco Polo bridge incident. If we can just wait a couple more days, July, set, okay, there we go. Got that final fort level built. How do we respond to their demand to surrender? Telling them to fuck off. Now that army reform is done, we can finally begin reforming our army. Oh, no, wait, no, we can't because it requires a hundred army experience each time to do. And we have to do it three times. That's 300 army experience. Motherfucker. So come on, Japan, bring it. Let's do this. And they start the attack. Now you can see here from the very beginning, even though our attack is very, very low, we are going to suffer. We simultaneously are going to have ridiculous defense, both thanks to the forts and simultaneously because of how much focus we put on our defensive advisors. They won't be able to break us. Worst comes to worst, we just cycle a couple guys in and out here as things start to break. The bigger trouble is when they first start to launch their invasions as they just did. Okay, so they're not launching where I thought they would. We got to send these guys down this way because there's the Japanese. All right, we're starting to lose a little bit up here. Go ahead and take two of our guys, send them up north, do what we can to protect. This is going to involve a lot of multitasking while we're dealing with all the simultaneous invasions. Our attacks are just so low because of all the effects on us, but every single hour that passes, they have less and less supply. So the longer we last, the better it's going to be for us. All right, make sure to cycle these guys out every so often. And shoot, I'm actually not liking the look of this. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're just going to go ahead and spawn these units. I don't want to. I really don't want to do this. I probably should have been way better about how I handled it, but we can send some additional forces in here to kind of shore things up a little bit. Also, commandeer some trains. We're going to need more of those. Keep our supplies nice and fresh. Also, send all of our planes up here and try and run whatever interception we can. Try and stop all of their casts from doing as much as possible. Here we go. It takes forever, but, but, but we're finally getting this. Wiping out a couple, 
key units. Perfect. Yes, we're going to take some serious casualties. That is going to happen. But off the get-go, Japan lost four valuable divisions. And the more we hold to this exact same strategy, the more we will be able to bleed them. Oof, now this is starting to get a little worrisome. Uh, they are looking like they're going to start breaking through Shanxi here. I do not appreciate this. Let's send one of our units over here, see if we can kind of help protect the border. Because as soon as we get 100 army experience, boom, now we can go over here and start repairing our really shitty military. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The Japanese are actually starting to break through here. Not good. Not good. Not good. Uh, all right. Once again, had to spawn out a bunch of units early because that's what you have to do in order to be able to protect this. I should have watched that a little bit more closely, but it's okay because these soldiers are gradually going to attrition because they are further from their supply lines. They won't be able to break through this easily. I say that and then they immediately start to break through it. Oh, and wouldn't you know it? After around five months of continuous fighting, they have actually stopped. What is the death toll at? 77,000 on our side, 250,000 on theirs. Not too shabby. Oh, no, nope, there they go again. Oh, but now we're getting infantry leader, which means infantry expert, and boom, our soldiers are only going to be getting stronger. It will be harder and harder for them to break through. Every single second that they don't break through just means that it's going to be even worse. Communist cell discovered in Henan. Unfortunately, while we're trying to fight for our lives, the freaking commies are trying to make lives difficult for us. So every time we see this and it pops up, we have to fight it because there's a Chinese power struggle that's happening at the same time of this shit. But it's all right. We're at 100 army experience again, which means we can reform the army again. And once that is done, we will only have minus 10% to our attack and defense. Oh, there they are. There's the Japanese once again, sending in another freaking invasion. Oh, you little pricks. You little pricks really thought that you could do that. Uh-uh. Oh, -uh. uh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. And in the middle of all this, there's still more freaking commies. Wait, what the fuck? When did we actually take land? What the fuck? This is not what I was trying to do. This is not what I was trying to do at all, good sir. We're trying to bleed them out this way, not actually fight back. What are you idiots doing? Would this actually work? Am I going to be able to trap some units here? No, no, some broke free. Great. Well, still, that is a good three divisions that is now trapped and killed, and that's better progress than we were able to make otherwise. Yeah, and after a year of fighting, there's half a million Japanese. And he's dead. We've done significantly more than we otherwise would have. Now it's time to start getting even extra protection here. War resistance, baby. More defense on our own core territory. Oh, they're not even willing to attack me anymore. Oh, wait, no, I say that. And then they go ahead and launch this. All right, all right, all right. Move up. That is a big invasion. No wonder they haven't been attacking me. Quick, don't let yourselves be completely cut off. We got to stop them. That was a smart little move they tried there. But we have a special new boomy weapon. We have been saving up artillery in order to create dedicated units that can destroy the Japanese. So that whenever they land their units here instead of having a hard time with little bits of infantry now we can actually just destroy them and boom there's five divisions gone and five more gone excellent fantastic oh uh, what do you know there's another hundred thousand men gone war of resistance next step war of national liberation and now it's time to start pulling extra little sneaky doodahs as for what i mean by that i mean this go ahead and do the last reform so that our army will be completely fixed and keep on trying to shove our way through all this ah there we go so that we can go and surround and destroy more units surround and destroy surround and destroy you know where the fun is whoa wait, whoa, 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 whoa what is this what is this what is this did you fuckers seriously launch an invasion back here in my own damn backyard while i was prepared for other things really really i'll admit i should have paid better attention that is entirely my fault hey there we go we're starting to take some territory back down at this point point. and here's the formation that i like to call the chinese double finger trap because there are two spots on here at this point that you can just farm troops as much as you can for killing right here and right here they'll keep on placing troops in it you just need to surround by taking these four tiles and then you get for units to kill. Of course, I should have done that with a fallback line and not an actual front line. Shit. Okay, I kind of screwed that up. But it's okay, because now that our army is technically fixed, even though we have shitty officers, at the very least, now we can actually pursue military doctrine, which we don't need mass assault anymore because we don't need to worry about being surrounded. We're in the stronger position, so superior firepower. Because, uh, yes, how weird is it for the Chinese to care more about uh, people's lives than bullets, huh? So we draw that line, withdraw all these troops back, and we just repeat the cycle all over again, letting their troops move in on us oh what's this are these some valuable tank divisions that are now caught oh no oh no what 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 a, what a weird tragedy that i never would have expected to happen here get wrecked and while those troops retreat we just pulled the exact same thing again here there goes another one and if you do this 
fast enough. They won't have any entrenchment built up because they will have just arrived in that square. So as soon as they land, you go in and you attack them again. Oh, oh, really? Really, 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 really? That, 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 that's where you fuckers were. You were here the entire time. I was wondering where all of your troops went. God damn it. You even got yourself a port. How cute. How freaking cute. And you know what? I think that we've killed enough of them. I think it's time to just go. Oh, come on, come on, come on. We are making a break for it. Can we please just cut off these forces? Ah, oh, there's Guzman Kukuo. Okay, so they're knocked out. That's going to eliminate a whole bunch of their forces. You bitch. In the middle of all this invasion, you decide to go and land a naval invasion here. Are you kidding me? Well, at the very least, at the end of all this, we can renegotiate the unequal treaties. Are you kidding me? Again. You fuckers did this again. You are literally getting invaded and killed, and you keep on doing this. Finally, there goes Manchu Kuo that knocks them out, which is going to destroy the majority of, well, every kind of force that is up here, actually. Uh, okay, there goes Germany doing its fun thing with Poland. We better finish this off as quick as we can because we don't want everything to get even more spicy. Sand King joined the commenter. Why the fuck would you join the commenter? Why would you not support me, you bitch? That is not very cash money for you, my friend. Go, go, my brothers. Finish off. Th save Korea. Because China has never, ever done anything bad to Korea ever in its history. Totally. Nope. We're, we're the ones that saved it. Oh, now what is this? What is this, little Japan? Did you get driven off of the continent? Did you get driven off the continent? Ooh, woo, motherfucker. Ooh, woo. We have achieved peace. At long last, China's looking like some really sad giant bird. And Korea is the beak. Well, it looks like a chocobo from Final Fantasy, not gonna lie. All right, well, now that that is finished off, it is time to take things into my own hands. China's looking at some internal developments, if you will. And I think some people weren't willing to share some of the sacrifice during the war. Remember what I said about internal development? This is uh, totally not topical when it comes to modern politics, now is it? Now it is time for some Chinese industrialization. Totally not something that would ever kill millions of people in history. Now, now, no, definitely not. Especially not if sparrows are not involved. Now I will admit right here that I had to cheat. I had to go ahead and use the focus autocomplete here because I'm not sure if it's the new patch or exactly what happened, but I remember before that when China would use the United Front that everyone would kind of join with the United Front. You know, you'd get the Yunnan click, you'd get all these other things. But because they never actually joined it only gave the offer to communist china for some reason and i don't remember why this is i mean maybe i'm screwing this up in my head that meant that i wasn't able to do any parts of this that i needed to do for france so that's 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 just fucking annoying i don't know what's going on there either way we had to complete all these so i could get down here to the one china policy which i should have been at here anyway all right there's the one china policy let's see next step on here and uh speaking of one china i don't think this word actually exists i think it was always meant to be China, plus 10,000 social credit points. Are you fucking kidding me? The Soviet Union is guaranteed. Okay, you bitch, you absolute bitch. Fuck you, Mr. Mustache Man, fuck you. I guess in the meantime, we just start uh, consolidating everything around us. Guan Xi, you hear that click? It's the sound of the gun being pressed to your head. Overwhelm them with sheer numbers and bullshit. And yes, I know, we're grinding away our men. There's plenty more where that came from. It literally does not matter because we're getting army experience so that we can fix our lessons of war, finally. Wait a minute, how are you fuckers losing over here? Oh shit, we are actually losing all of our equipment. Uh, all right, we're gonna need to stop. Okay, there goes Yunnan. Excellent, excellent, we at least took that one. It's way more grindy down here when you don't have any supply. There we go, come on, come on. Surround and destroy, surround and destroy, there we go. Ah, now this. This, this, this part isn't working out so well for me now at this point. Uh, okay. Okay, we're gonna need to lay off this and prepare for movement in the north instead. Let's just, let's just, let's just let them spread out their forces a little bit more. It's fine, it's fine. Jibe san ma, more like jibe san ba, ba. I, I don't know what I was going with that pun. Die, just, I oh, thought I should have done that. Jibe san die, not ma. Okay, finally, there goes the guanxi click. Perfect, go ahead and annex all that, finish that off, done, and boom. Not that, you know, I guess any of this matters because we're just dropping the bucket population wise. There goes jibe san ma. All right, that finishes them off. Now, the last couple that are on here are Shanxi and the Communist and Shin Kang. But both of these fuckers are either in the common turn or being guaranteed by the common turn. Fuck you. Well, I guess it's time we go after these fuckers then. Shanxi, you go ahead and disappear. I need to surround Communist China on all sides, please. Thank you. Oh, look, look at the little Chinese boys getting eaten. Like millions of grains of rice suddenly getting quashed into a patty. How lovely. Which leaves these two fuckers. Great, great. Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. I completely forgot about Tibet. How could I forget about Tibet? 
No one forgets about Tibet. Goodbye, bitch. I am so sorry for what I'm about to do to you. Okay, no, I'm totally not. Goodbye, Tibet. You never existed in the first place. We're gonna we're gonna stick with that. Uh, we're gonna stick with that statement. Oh, oh, there goes Germany. There goes Germany after uh after the Soviets, which actually means that this might be my perfect time to go ahead and strike. Well, my brothers, I don't appreciate the communists. And considering it's December of 1941, it is arguably the perfect time to strike. So let's just fucking go for it. No one was prepared for the Soviets to strike here. Or not Soviets, the, the Chinese. The Chinese to strike. Wait, are they not joining in? Are the Soviets not actually going to join in? Can I, can I get them? We got the, what? What? They never joined. They never joined. How amazing. Wow. That That's just going to allow us to consolidate our line even more. Wow. Because you see, the funny thing is, we don't have anything else to do over here. So, I mean, I guess that means we just joined the the party on this side then they're surely gonna call them in now right right yeah there they go okay there they go now they call them in this should draw a lot of the soviet attention my way which will allow the germans to push on even closer to moscow wow they actually are getting pretty close here and i get invited to join the axis mm. should china join the axis instead how about sure mr hitler but i'm not accepting any of your other call to arms on any of the other people what are we losing a lot of guns oh my god we are actually losing a lot of guns a lot of guns and a lot of artillery okay fall of moscow oh oh so it actually is happening they're getting so much weaker on this side well go my brothers you will be able to push now over here so go for it freaking go for it all right quick as we take control of the railways go ahead and boost those up we need to get those fixed so that we can continue our massive push really the only thing that we were doing over here is creating a massive front that the soviets have to pour troops onto because if they don't pour troops onto it then they won't be able to stop us because look at look already at this the germans are overwhelming the soviets with numbers because we are the giant meat shield that is blocking things for them. Every single Soviet division that is placed over on this side on the border is one less division that they are going to have over here, which means the Germans are just pouring through them. They are cutting through them like a knife through hot butter or a hot knife through butter. That, that's the that's the phrase. And all it cost was to half a million Chinese lives. Again, that's not really, that's not, no, don't worry about it. And the Americans, I'm in the Axis. They're wanting to send me guns. Wait, am I out of guns? Oh shit, I am out of guns. I am really out of guns huh that could be a problem and all of my convoys are getting destroyed crap well that could be a bit of a problem for me follow stalingrad 1942 oh god they're making some good progress it's all right it's all right just continuously throw yourselves if we can wear them out we will win okay okay all right i think i think i think we gotta stop i think we gotta stop we are literally out of weapons it's this this is not great this is not great we got we got to build up our industrial base again more mills more mills God, 18K in the hole. All right. All right, we're going to be a little bit smarter about this. Come on, come on, come on. Just take out these. We can just take out Shang Kang. There they go. There goes Shang Kang. All right, at least, at least we knocked that one out. We need more guns before we can do anything. We're going to have to wait a few months. Even the Germans have kind of slowed, stopped their advance up here because they're fighting into Siberia now, basically, and it's awful. This is an awful experience right now. I'm just telling you that. This sucks. Oh, yep, there went my positive surplus I built up of guns. That, that's once again gone. Tanatuva, perfect. Okay, we can take all that. I'm sure they were so super valuable right now at this point. Please, please, for the love of God, Germany, Italy, do something on this side. Italy, you better not fucking fall on this end. Come on, come on. We're slowly grinding up here. We're slowly grinding up and taking it. it why, Germany? Why can you not do more? Please just do more. Oh, oh, are you finally launching an attack? Are you finally launching an attack? Yes, yes. Drive them back. Drive them back. Come on, come on, come on. You overwhelm them with numbers, please. Oh, finally, finally. Finally, the Soviets go. Okay, that, I, I hate fighting in Siberia. I hate fighting it so much. You, you have to fight in these parts of China. You have to fight in Siberia. You have to fight in all this. This is the most painful playthrough. Not the most painful, but it's one of the more painful ones you have to do. And you know that we have to unite and fix all these bad borders. Remember that whole thing about China being the master of Asia? The mandate of heaven? Yeah, China is Asia at this point. Plus, we could also take the entire Soviet Navy. You know, just for funsies. I think that this looks significantly better this is just this, this is this is just too beautiful and also horrifying so let's see since we don't have to worry about that anymore then why don't we turn our attention elsewhere then china claims into china yes yes of course because it's in the name indo china therefore it should be in china it makes perfect sense it's mine and let's call our allies too come on germany you enjoy the fun you enjoy the fun yes Japan offers peace. The war has been won. Japan released Korea. What you, what you, you're giving this to me again? No, 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 buddy. Nah, buddy. Nah. That's not how this is going to work. 
As now go, my pretties, go, go and attack the Japanese. They'll never know what hit them. Oh, do we make it? Yes, but now we're getting hit by subs. Okay, come on. We made it with a lot of Chinese people dying in the result. It's fine, it's fine. Because Japan is now mine for the taking. You're going to eat red bean paste, except the beans are gonna be red with your blood. Just saying. And there goes Tokyo. With the fall of Tokyo, that means the fall of Japan and we have actually taken it. Wait, are they trying to claim some of my land? You bitches, I'm the one that fought and took this, not you. Well, we can at least take Korea and here and submit that. Seriously, seriously, you're not, you're not, you're not gonna give this to me. You're not gonna give this to me. You bitch, you actual bitch. Well, at the very at least Japan is gonna look lovely in its new multi-tone state. This is fucking cursed. Well, everyone, it is November 1944. Technically speaking, we have the manpower, we have the industry, we have everything to go forever at this point, but I don't want to because it has been many hours that I've been filming this and I am done and I'm tired and I have more work to do. Everyone, this has been Stakui with another Hearts of Iron 4 playthrough. My nose is all stuffed up still and I'm, I, even right now, I can't, I can't properly speak. I've tried to do this ending like three times already. I am done. I am tired hope you enjoy the rest of your day please make sure to like comment and subscribe do everything you can to help this video in the algorithm and of course let me know in the comment section below what it is that we should do next i will see you all later goodbye have a good rest of your day plus 1000 social credit for liking this video